This is a brief presentation on how to post narrated PowerPoint slides on YouTube when you have a Windows machine. It complements a presentation by Charles Ansorge of the University of Nebraska-Lincoln that talks about posting slides on YouTube using a Macintosh. I'm Cynthia Russell and I'm from the University of Tennessee Health Science Center in Memphis, Tennessee. The requirements for doing this are simple. You need a Windows computer with Microsoft PowerPoint, a recent edition, Windows Movie Maker that comes pre-installed on most Windows computers, a separate microphone is recommended, you need a connection to the Internet, and a free YouTube account. In the first step, develop your PowerPoint slides as normal. When you're saving them, go to the File menu and select Save As. From the drop-down list where it says Save As Type, select JPEG File Interchange Format. A question pops up that asks you if you want to export every slide or only the current slide. You want to export every slide. Another pop-up gives you the information in terms of your slide has been saved and it's in a certain folder. Make sure to keep record of where the folder is and click OK. In Step 2, open Windows Movie Maker. You can usually find this by clicking on Start, then All Programs, then Accessories, and then Entertainment. In this step, you import your PowerPoint slides into Windows Movie Maker. Open Windows Movie Maker, click on File, and then click Import into Collections. Go to the location where your JPEG pictures are located, select them all. You can easily do this by clicking on the first JPEG, hold the Shift key, and then go to the last JPEG and click again. Click Import, and then the JPEG files will be saved as slide 1, 2, 3, etc. in the sequence from PowerPoint. At this point, all your JPEG files should be showing up in the center of your screen. You need to click on each individual JPEG and drag it to the storyboard at the bottom of the page in the proper sequence. Now you want to narrate your audio. Click on Show Timeline at the top of the storyboard. Then click on the microphone at the top left-hand side of the timeline. You see a picture here of some of the buttons that you'll see. Click to Start Narration, and once you've completed your narration, click Stop Narration. Things you need to know about Windows Movie Maker. Each clip or JPEG advances automatically and likely too fast for you to narrate. So if you put your cursor over the right-hand side of the clip, you can drag it wider in seconds than you'll need. Once you've completed the narration for that clip, then drag the clip back to the left so that it matches your narration length. You can also import a complete audio file if you opt to narrate a single file versus each individual clip, and each clip gets saved with a unique name. Now you need to save your movie. Click on File, then Save Movie File. Select the web for where you want to save it to, enter a file name for it, and select the setting. DSL, cable modem, higher than that's fine. Your movie is then saved. It also then prompts you to save a copy on your computer, and for Save As Type, you select WMV, and then click Finish. In this step, you'll upload your movie to YouTube. YouTube is at youtube.com. Log into your account, create a new account if you need to. Then once you're there and logged in, click on My Account, and then click on Upload New Video. When uploading to YouTube, you'll be asked for the following information. Name of the file, a brief description, any tags that you want to give it so people can easily identify it, and the category in which it should be placed. On the next screen, locate your WMV file on your computer and upload it. Wait while it's processed to obtain the URL. This may take a fairly long time depending on the size of your movie. So, to review this process, create your PowerPoint slides, save the individual slides as JPEG format, import them into Windows Movie Maker, add your narration, save it as a WMV file, upload it to YouTube, and then share the URL with your colleagues so everyone will benefit from your movie. Charles Ansorge of the University of Nebraska-Lincoln has posted helpful information regarding YouTube at the URL that you see on the screen. Those of you with access to a Mac will benefit from Charles's video on posting narrated PowerPoint slides on YouTube using a Mac located at the YouTube URL that you see on the screen. It complements this one. It probably took me an hour and a half or so to do this because I haven't been into Windows Movie Maker for a while. So um, I hope you found these tips helpful and I hope you'll be able to make some movies and to upload some teaching tips that will be useful for you and your colleagues. Happy movie making!